Hi everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the stocks that are in the marine transportation uh, sector, we like to call it the shipping sector. Um, it, it is finally heating up. Um, you know, there was this big rally in the um, uh, on the Baltic Dry Index and the, uh, the shipping stocks did not participate. Um, they actually pulled back during that rally and then, you know, the Baltic Dry Index pulled back and then now we have... Um, it, stocks that are that are starting to move uh, we posted a video with NM um, showing that 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 it had a nice move on Friday and so now we're going to show you some more stocks in, in the sector that are on our radar okay let's look at EGLE um, notice it's currently in the 50 to 70 bull zone uh, super bullish above 80 on fast the, the the bullish move on Friday was this close above the 50 day simple moving average at 496 we want to see that level hold if that level turns into support it could run up here to the 100 day simple moving average at 540 break that and we'll be talking about the 200 day simple moving average at 580 notice how it, it, it has been turning the the middle bollinger band into support as long as the middle bollinger band holds at 478 this uptrend should continue it, it, notice how there was this uh, descending uh, downward channel and then it consolidated sideways and now it's trying to break out above it the key is going to be get a first is to close above this uh, May 15th close it closed right below that level if we can break that and then the closing price back here in in April, uh, it could uh, actually run up to the 100-day simple moving average. Keep an eye on it. There's been some good volume down here. Uh, recent Mac. Uh, bull crosses, and then you've got a, a PSR bull flip on Friday. Okay, let's look at SB. This is Safe Bulkers. Um, this is another stock that uh, had a nice uh, bullish move. Uh, this has been on a multi-day run, but it still has RSI with more juice here at 59. It's not overbought until 70. And notice past runs, you know, it has gone uh, above the 70 level. So it has more room to push. It is at 94 on Fasto. Currently uh, really bullish on ADX. Notice how Plus DI crossed... Uh, minus di to the upside and notice how on uh, previous runs it did uh, run much higher on on plus di so uh, you know it does look like that this could keep pushing higher uh, even though it is on a four day run so it, it, it is and it is hitting the upper bollinger band and high close resistance here on the second trading day in may that is the key level to break notice it's been the sideways channel so there's a strong sideways channel and then it broke down hit the 100 day simple moving average where, where uh, you know traders loaded down here and then, and then it and then it bounced and had this multi-day run. And, and so the close back above the middle Bollinger Band and above the 50-day simple moving average is signaling more upside potential. It needs to stay above those levels. So you don't want to see it drop below 218 and definitely not below 207. It needs to keep, turn those levels into support. And then we're going to be talking about a run up here to this high close on uh, the, the April 10th. And, and that's going to be the, the, the next target. If it can turn, it needs to turn this red line here. It needs to turn the top of the previous channel into support. If it, if it pulls back, it's just going to single continuation of this uh, sideways channel. So so you want to see a break above it, possible run to uh, 255. Uh, there was a PSAR bull flip on Friday. There's a nice volume spike. Notice how it was the best volume since the first week of May. And there was a MACD bullish crossovers last week. Okay, let's look at SALT, another marine transportation stock. It just crossed above 50. It's at currently at 56. You know, look, look you know, there's uh, in the bull zone here on on. Fasto, now you have a uh, plus DI, uh, you know, bull crossed ADX and it's above uh, minus DI, so it shows the bulls are in control. Uh, th this is a really, this is another one of those uh, break above uh, resistance type plays. Um, notice how it, it, it broke above the high close here. Um, it, you know, it tested this level on Thursday and then finally on Friday it broke above the top of the channel. And then it also broke above uh, this other high close, uh, which was right here on the uh, 10th of May. And so that's going to be the key level to turn into support. And what we want to see next week is we want to see a break above the, the 50 and 100 day simple moving averages. If it can get above the 100, then we could be talking about a big run. I mean, you know, I'm not going to, you know, we're not going to count our chickens before they hatch or anything like that. But, you know, uh, prior high levels were up here at 10. So, you know, if it can break above 750 and turn into support, it has the potential to run back up to 10. First things first, it needs to turn this middle Bollinger Band into support. And this how candles have been forming above. And then it needs 
to break through resistance. It's got a good start here last week. It did close above the upper Bollinger Band. So if it pulls back, you want to see it bounce off that middle Bollinger Band. You want to see that level hold and a new uptrend begin. You know, th there was a big uh, volume spike on Friday. So there was a uh, good volume. And then there were recent uh, bull crosses on MACD, you know, signaling upside potential. So that was the uh, big cross back there. So the chart is really heating up. It found support. And then now it's trying to break out higher. Let's look at SHIP. Very similar chart here. Look, you've got it breaking at 51. This is signaling that there's a lot more room in this because it doesn't get overbought until 70. So it's so, so that it's just starting. You know, Fasto is hitting 80. Can it bust above 80 and keep heading higher? We'll have to see. Um, notice that we've got a pinch situation here on ADX. You want to see the green line cross the black line and the red line to the upside. If that happens, that'll be a signal the bulls are strong. The bullish development on this chart is the close above the middle Bollinger Band. Notice this purple dotted line first close above that level since all the way back here in April so so this is a bullish change in trend notice how it tried to close above on the 23rd and it failed to and it continued going downward so so this is a a, a big move on Friday for for SHIP uh, what we want to see now is we want to see a break above high close horizontal resistance which is going to be uh, this candle right here on the 17th if it can bust above that then we're talking about which is our next target is the 50-day simple moving average at 7.69. So, you know, it, 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 that's the, it, it should be able on this move to be able to test that 50-day simple moving average. If this is going to be a strong move, you want to see the middle Bollinger Band hold. If it drops back below, that's going to signal downside risk. If the middle Bollinger Band holds, a new uptrend should begin. And then what would be nice to see is a push through the 50 and then a run up to the 100. So keep an eye on it. You know, volume is still really light. So, so what bulls want to see is a bullish volume spike and then a push through resistance. You know, if the, the word spreads that these uh, shipping stocks are heating up and they the companies refrain from dumping too hard into these runs, they love to dump into the run, uh, the, the, the whole sector could get moving because it's heated up in that direction. Okay, let's look at DSX. Another stock, look at the same setup. It just broke above 50. Notice how it failed to break 50 below. This is the first time it's been above 50 since the last big uptrend okay so this is a big major uh, bullish development okay notice this one's got some room to run here on fasto we want to see it get above 50 okay uh, th th this is another trying to turn the middle Bollinger Band into support play so the middle Bollinger Band has been holding and it looks like a new uptrend is starting and so what we want to do is we want to see this middle Bollinger Band hold and then once again we're looking for a break out of this strong uh, sideways channel it's been channeling out here and it's currently hitting the top of the channel. It's the high close here on the 23rd of May. A close above that is going to signal upside potential. And then once again, you've got the 50 and 100 day simple moving average just above. And those are really big resistance levels. So if it can close above the 50 day simple moving average here at 428, you could see a potential run up here to fill this gap. Uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about gaps in the other videos, but uh, you know, there's a big gap up here. So you can see a run up to five bucks if it can break above the 50 day simple moving average. Keep an eye on it as long as that middle Bollinger Band holds. Uh, there will be uh, upside potential. You know, volume was picking up. You know, the first, you know, the best volume day in, in a couple weeks. But you, but you really want to see a bullish volume spike like uh, this day here to, 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 to get that big push through resistance. There were recent um, uh, MACD bull, bullish crossovers. Okay, so you got the uh, bullish crossover that's just starting today or on Friday and then uh, or Thursday, and then you got the recent bullish crossover in the 1226 and 9. And then you have PSAR here. Here's PSAR at, at 420. And, and, and so that's the green dots here. When the share price breaks that, the dots are going to flip below the candles. So, yeah, so keep an eye on this play. It has more upside potential. Okay, DSX. And then also look at DCIX. Okay, this has got really low volume. Okay, speaking about volume, we need to see volume enter the trade but we're going to keep an eye on this. Okay, it hasn't broken resistance yet. Notice how the candles have been forming below the middle Bollinger Band since back here. And so uh, the... the uh the, the big move on this chart if you keep an eye on it see what happens a lot of times is you have all these other stocks moving and so when that's happening you want to look at for the laggards what we call the laggards and their stocks in the sector that have failed to participate yet in the rally and so a lot of times best of breed runs first and then the stocks that aren't as good run next and then the, the POS the, the the really bad stocks run last the ones that are really beaten up and it, you know have the most problems are usually the last to run and so DCIX is currently on that list it had this huge drop from three bucks basically down to 30 cents. And so, uh, 
Now it's trying to find support down here in the $3 range. And so we're looking, what you do is you, you, you track down the ones that haven't participated and those might be the ones you get to capture more beta when they do break out. And so it's this whole game you want to play when, when sectors are running, trying to find the ones that haven't run and then also trying to play the ones that are actually in play. So you got to monitor these ones, uh, you know, the, the stocks like DCIX that are setting up, you know, they may fail to follow through. You just have to keep watching the bullish development on this chart is going to be a close above the middle Bollinger Band currently at, uh, where is that at, 40? It's at 40 cents. And so if you can get a close above this level, it, it, it should signal more upside potential. And, and you could see a run up here to the 50-day simple moving average at 57. Um, so this is another tight sideways channel. You know, there was some volume down here. You know, people, uh, it looks like some people may be loading. Uh, but it's going to need a bullish volume spike to push through resistance. It's always a risk to get into stocks that are thinly traded, like this stock here, GSL. But keep an eye on it. If the share price does, uh, if the volume does come into the, the play, into the trade, it could really heat up. Um, you know, it's had volume in the past, but this is a uh, 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 more thinly traded stock. Um, keep an eye on it for a break above the 50 day simple moving average here at 132. You know, you could see a run, uh, you know, th this push higher. Uh, th this is, you know, what we'd call our uh, worst of breed. You know, this is a, a, a laggard that uh, is actually heating up as well and starting a new uptrend. So, yeah, so keep an eye on the, on the shipping sector. Keep an eye on the, the stocks uh, that, that are currently in play and the stocks that are setting up. Okay, thank you for viewing this video. Check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.